So who, what do we have here? Let's see. It looks like it's um, beans and uh, something else. I'm going to have to ask the boss here. No? You're looking at farotto di calamari. What's that again? Farotto di calamari. Do I have, if, if I don't say it correctly, do I not get served? Well, you, you, you call it beans, you won't get served. <laughs> it's an ancient uh, form of uh, wheat, farro. Really? Uh, farotto, fresh calamari, tomato, tomato, white wine. It's like a risotto, only made with uh, farro. And uh, what's so unique about this particular dish? Well, we're featuring uh, Liguria. What is this? Uh, Farotti di Calamari is, uh, is something that's very typical of uh, northern Tuscany and Liguria. Okay. And it's uh, made like a risotto with white wine and tomato and uh, fresh uh, seafood, calamari. Okay. And uh, this uh, is uh, flatbread, also from Liguria. Farinata di Cenci. And it's made with chicken and flour. And it's, uh, it's a street food in, uh, in Genoa, in Liguria. I see. But we serve it as a, a introductory to the restaurant when people come in. So. Yes, you have a restaurant yeah. here at the Chef's School. Yes, not at the Chef's School. No, no. I have a restaurant at Young and Ugly. Oh, you have one at Young and Ugly. Yes. Okay, that one. Okay, that's right. Hey, what's the name of that? This is Farinata. Farinata di Cenci. It's, uh, it's made with chickpea flour. So very typical of the uh, region. Uh, and the restaurant. Excellent. So this is prepared in your restaurant on a daily basis? Uh, yes. And the other dish here? The farotti di calamari is something we would do as a special every once in a while. For this? Uh, very typical of uh, the kind of food that we do, which is genuine, uh, authentic, regional cuisine. Excellent. Now you're Chef Andrew, um, one of the instructors here. Actually, I'm not. You're not, sorry? I support the program and I'm here every year for Viva Italia. So why is it you're supporting it and not some other similar event? Well, I'm supporting it because uh, you know the students are the ones that will come through and work in the restaurant, and uh, they are the future. Excellent. I know you have some students here in the uh, yeah. Yeah. in the Italian program. I mean, uh, what's your name? Uh, Justin. Justin. So I just call you Justin now until your chef now say Chef Justin, right? Yes, eventually. So tell me, how's the experience for you here at the uh, Italian Culinary Department? Yes, um, I'm at Zucca right now doing an internship. Um, it's going really great. Um, I have a menu actually to be uh, presented to the public through the restaurant. Um, after I'm finished there, uh, Ryan will be there as well, working there and doing a menu also. Excellent. Uh, you are Brian, right? Ryan. 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 How's the experience for you, Ryan, here at the school? Really great. Just, uh, just to see how like, all the food is made like, going to Italy is just like, a great experience to learn how they do it there, right from the basics. Have you guys been to Italy yet? Yes. And how was it there? It was great. It was great. How long did you stay there? Three and a half months. Three and a half months? August to December. They probably have had to twist your arm to come back here, right? Yeah. yeah what would you like the most? What's the most interesting dish there that you like preparing? Sorry? What's the most interesting dish there you like to prepare? Really, it's not, it's not interesting as complex as interesting as how simple it is. Because I uh, where I was was all seafood and everything there was as simple as it gets. Um, your seafood was seasoned very lightly at very low additives, so you get the freshness right out of the sea. So is that the secret? Just keep it simple? Keep it simple. Yeah, but it has to be made in Italy. Yeah. Run in Italy, right? There's nothing better. <laughs> it's not like Italian food is nothing complicated. It's just very simple to the point. And that's what people... Excellent. See you there. Excellent. That's what makes the food good. Well, thank you so much. One day I'll be calling you gentlemen chef. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.